So I just want to take the time to shoot uh, this video with commentary. As it appears, a lot of people seem to think that this is a video uh, just bashing the Duotronic, and, and it's certainly not. We love that machine. So as we roll the machine, what we have set up is we have the Duotronic's pressure regulator um, set to be the highest setting possible. And there's a valve, so we have it closed, or apparently closed. We also have the rate of flow valve, another valve controlling the output injection, completely open. And what you'll see here, once we get underway, we inject the two machines into one another. What we're actually witnessing is the Frankenbaum overcoming that obstruction, which is the pressure regulator valve totally closed, and it's pumping into the machine and back filling it. And you might be asking yourself, so what, who cares, why? Well, the reason this should really uh, help you as an embalmer is because it makes you better understand your Duotronic if that's what you're using. You see, this can happen as you embalm the body if you're not meeting the pressure demand. Now, despite what people believe, pressure does swell the human body. Frankenbaum measures that. The measurement on your machine is in no way a true representation of force because, as you can see, it's being relieved. Although that reading on the machine apparently says maybe 15 or 20 on the Duotronic right now, um, we see it unwavering as it backfills. So there's no true force there. Um, we're going to try to keep the video short this year, but we hope this sheds some light on the limitations of your current machines. We'll keep the sales pitches short too. Buy a Frankenbaum, buy a Buckethead, um, buy anything from our store. But have a good day, and I hope this sheds some light on what you're witnessing. It has to do with preg pressure regulation being inherently flawed by way of centrifugal pump designs offering relief back to the tank. All right, any questions, post them in the comments.